Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and on May 9th of 2023, I did a video on how to get started with Greylog 5. That video is linked right down below. Today is May 18th, and Greylog 5.1 is now available. You know, about a week later. I could have waited, but hey, this is how things go. But this is an opportunity. Now, if you haven't followed that video and you do follow it, you will get the latest version, and it'll automatically install Greylog 5.1. But if you've already installed it, well, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to update from version 5 to 5.1. It's relatively easy to do. And I want to show you how to do this manually by editing the Docker Compose and just show you the commands because I want to make sure people understand how the underlying systems work. Yes, there's ways this could all be automated and scripted that would go out of scope of this video. And we'll start with showing you how it's done. And I'll leave the rest up to you if you want to automate or script this process. Now, this video is not sponsored by Greylog, but hey, in full disclosure, they did send me a shirt. But if you'd like to help out or support the channel. There's some affiliate links down below, or you can hire us for a project. There's a link to our website, lawrencesystems.com. Click the hires button at the top and hires for projects that you've seen us talk about on this channel or whatever your technology needs are. Now let's get started with how to do this over in Greylog. It's pretty straightforward and simple. This system's currently running Greylog 5, and we have a little message up here that lets us know you are running an outdated version of Greylog, and then it lets you know that the latest version has been released, 5.1. This is how Greylog lets you know when there's an update. From the command line, we need to edit the Docker Compose file. We need to find the line that says Greylog slash Greylog colon 5.0, delete that, and change this to 5.1. Greylog implicitly lists the image that it wants for the Docker. Save this file, Docker Compose down to take the system down. Docker Compose up dash D, and it will realize there's a new image and pull that new image. Now we're back at the login screen for the new Greylog 5.1. And we're all set, we're on the new version. The last part is some housekeeping. We want to use Docker image prune. We're just gonna say all, but be careful because this will remove all images that don't have a container associated with them. We'll say yes. And it's gonna delete all the extra images that we're not using anymore. And that's all you have to do to go from version 5 to 5.1 because Docker does a good job when you set it up properly of separating application versus your data storage. All you do is pull the new version of the application, reattach it to the same data store, all your settings, all your data is all there and everything just works. If you have some thoughts, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. I appreciate a like and subscribe because it helps the channel out. And uh, let me know what you think of this. Also, let me know what you think of Greylog 5.1. They put a lot of work into this. Check out the change log. You can see the list of new features on there. And I'll see you over in the forums. Thanks.